Hi, it's Eric Russell here again from A Vicious Cycle, and one of the most common questions we get every day is what tires are best suited for my motorcycle. Today we're going to discuss the Suzuki V-Strom 650 and 1000. This will also apply to several other adventure touring bikes such as your uh, Honda Veradero and quite a few other units. So we're going to discuss everything from very off-road oriented in this Continental TKC 80 to uh, tires that tend to be very, very street oriented in this Pirelli Scorpion and everything in between. We'll talk about tire life and how you can choose the tire that will best suit your V-Strom. Up first, Continental TKC 80, also known as the Continental Twin Duro, same tire. Very off-road biased tire, but it actually works surprisingly well for your street jaunts in between. Fantastic gravel road unit. You'll really like this. The grip is phenomenal on the Suzuki V-Strom. So what you'll notice here is that we have a very square edge, very deep lugs in here. Provides fantastic grip and penetration when you're into the soft loam and even gravel. It just provides fantastic grip. It can be a little bit loud when you're on the road, um, but other than that, uh, it just seems to work well. It's a high quality tire. You're sure to enjoy this if you do a lot of off-road jaunts on your Suzuki V-Strom. Up next, the Kenda Big Block Tire. This is a brand new tire for 2011, just released, and it's Kenda's competition for the TKC80 that we just saw earlier. This tire offers a little bit better pricing than the Continental TKC80. The only downside is it tends not to live quite as long as the Continental does. But still, it's a great bang for your buck, great tire. Now we have the Heidenau K60 Scout, brand new tire for 2011, great features on this tire, suited ideally for your Suzuki V-Strom. It has a very solid center section down the middle of the tire, this keeps it nice and quiet for your road use, but it also features great spacing and great tread depth here. That is ideal for gravel road, off-road use as well. So this tire suits the V-Strom very well, being that it's a multi-purpose tire on a multi-purpose bike. So it works great on gravel, works great on the pavement, does everything ideally. It's German made, uh, great quality on the tire, and you can expect lifespan from about 12 to 15,000 kilometers. But of course that varies on your throttle hand and the load that's on the bike. But that's about what you should expect, which is phenomenal for a tire that works so well off-road. This is the Shinko 705 series of tire. As you can see, we're getting slightly more road oriented in our tire selections and the way the tread design is. This is a great tire at a great entry level price. It's not gonna break the bank to outfit your Suzuki V-Strom with new rubber. Uh, one of the great features about this tire is it's also available in a bias ply for a little bit less. If you want to go a little bit more money for about $25 a tire more, they're also available in a radial, which should increase your traction and your lifespan even farther. Uh, this tire uh, seems to work very well again on the V-Strom. It has some uh, light off-road use. You can still do that with the great tread depth and spacing, but is ideally suited for commuting during the week and then those off-road jaunts on the weekend. Now we're showing you the Metzler Tourons. This is likely the most popular tire that we sell for the Suzuki V-Strom. The main reason for it is it offers great lifespan for street use. You can still do some light off-road use, you just have to be a little bit cautious, take your speed down a few notches. But other than that, you can expect almost 20,000 kilometers on a set of these. And if you do a lot of pavement, you can put the Tourons on the front of your uh, V-Strom, and on the back you can put the Metzler ME880. It's a great setup for a phenomenal lifespan. We have heard of customers getting up to 30,000 kilometers on that tire combination. So the tread spacing here is ideally suited for mostly a pavement situation. It will work on gravel roads. We, you're not really gonna expect to do off-road with this tire just because there's very little spacing. This will pack up very quickly, very smooth, uh, but it's great for light gravel road use and a lot of road work. You should really enjoy this tire on two up ridings because it has a very solid sidewall and carcass structure, so it stays very solid, especially when you have your motorcycle heavily loaded. Now we have the Michelin Anarchy 2. This is a great tire from one of the big names of motorcycle tires, Michelin. This tire offers fantastic all-weather use. Uh, what we really seem to find in Canada that this tire is ideally suited for are those who tend to ride in colder temperatures, 5 degrees Celsius, even 0 degrees Celsius. The high silica compound in the rubber content in this tire allows the tire to mold and flex at very cold temperatures, which gives you that great grip. If you've ever tried riding your bike when it's cold out with the tires without any heat in them, you'll know that they slip very easily. But this tire seems to work very, very well in those cold temperatures. 
The lifespan may be a little bit shorter than something like the Metz or Tourants, but if you tend to ride late into the fall, early in the spring, you're one of the first guys out on the road, this would be a tire you should be looking at. It still offers, again, some gravel road use because of the tread design. Very, very angular, works ideal again in wet weather. Michelin really went all out on this tire to try to get all weather use out of it. Now we've got the Avon Distanzia. Now this tire, very similar again to the Anarchy 2 that we just saw, that has that angular tread design, those nice big solid blocks on it. Uh, what we seem to find on this tire is that it grips unbelievably well on the paved sections. So if you tend to be a little bit more aggressive on your Suzuki V-Strom, you like to drag the peg the odd time, and you do, I would say, probably close to 90 to 95% road use, this tire should work very, very well for you. It does work well in all weather. Again, it is able to extract that rain very easily from the center section, but uh, still the spacing is, is fairly close. So you're not gonna use it for off-road. It's gonna be a gravel and uh, tarmac type tire. Up last, we have the Pirelli Scorpion Trail. This would be a 95 to 100% street use tire, but it still offers the look of an adventure touring tire for your V-Strom. So you have that fantastic grip on the tarmac without giving up any of the looks that, of your bike. Uh, it offers fantastic rain extraction because there's no solid center section that allows that water to extract very easily and will work great on long distance touring rides, especially when your bike is heavily loaded. This is a high-end tire, very popular with the Ducati Multistrada owners and other owners of the finer European bikes. So, to summarize quickly, we have this street tire here with just the off-road look to it. We have the do-everything Suzuki V-Strom tire here in the Metzler Tourants. And lastly, we have the tire that will do your off-road, your gravel use, and your street use in the uh, Heinel K60. They each have their pluses and minuses, fantastic grip and lifespan, kind of does everything mediocre. And lastly, the tire's gonna be a little bit loud on the street, but is gonna work great on your off-road jaunts.